Out of the top story, it's finally happened. Army Chief Deepak Kapoor has confirmed that his right-hand man and Military Secretary Lieutenant General Avdesh Prakash will be court-martialed. The three-star general is accused of peddling his influence to help his businessman friend in a land scam that runs into hundreds of crores. The senior most army officer ever to face a court-martial in India. A close aide of the army chief, military secretary, Lieutenant General Avdesh Prakash, allegedly influenced the army to help a businessman friend get clearances from the army to build a school. General Prakash's movement will now be restricted and tracked all the time. After NDTV first broke the news, the army chief issued a show cause notice to General Prakash asking him to explain his actions, something that drew a lot of criticism. Many termed it as the army letting one of their own get away lightly. Then, just two days ago, Defence Minister A.K. Antony advised the Army Chief to start disciplinary proceedings against General Prakash. The Defence Minister had only two options. One was to let the Chief carry on with whatever he was planning to do, and then if the punishment was not considered commensurate with the offence, then give him a public takeoff. Second option was to apply a corrective before the Chief takes the action, which is what he has done. So was the army chief forced? Perhaps we will never know the truth for sure. Sources, however, told NDTV the defense ministry knew that the army would go for administrative action initially, which includes sacking and not disciplinary action. If this is the case, then several unanswered questions crop up. For instance, what made the defense minister intervene now? Why did the defense minister not wait till the army chief concluded the proceedings? Whether or not General Prakash is guilty, we'll know once the military court concludes. But one thing is clear. The relationship between the executive and the military is now likely to go through a rough patch. In New Delhi, Shudhi Ranjan Sen for NDTV.